This is Milan, Soul Natural Wellness, culinary nutrition and wellness coach. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about if you're dieting out a lot, you're putting on more weight than you want, how you can lose the weight, um, defy aging, and feel amazing in your clothes again. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some of my um, culinary tips, They are, which is why I call today Foodie Friday, and that will show you how you can Start to bring more, make more healthy choices at home. Uh, I love dining out, and I find that dining out has is um, who doesn't love it? It you get catered to, you know, people are at your whim. Um, so I love it, but at the same thing, having a background in culinary, I realized that. When you eat out a lot, you're going to gain weight because there are so many ingredients that are put in food to make them just sing that <laughs> you're going to gain more weight than you want. And if you've eaten out a lot over the last year, I'm more than certain you've perhaps probably gained about 20 pounds extra. So here are some of my culinary tips that I picked up from a chef, uh, one of my mentors, and I want to share with you today. Um, so I'm just, you know, making sure I stay with my notes. Um, so the first one is to choose only fresh ingredients. So when I first say fresh ingredients, um, just plain me what it is. Choose only fresh ingredients because you can do so much more with them. They're so much more flavorful. Um, they're, the, the texture is there. Um, when you buy frozen ingredients, and I grew up on a lot of frozen ingredients. My I think a lot of homes, you know, the baby boomers, they use frozen vegetables. Um, some of them don't. I mean, some perhaps may have their own garden, but the ones that do um, buy a lot of frozen vegetables, when you buy a lot of frozen vegetables, you're getting a lot of water content. So you want to make sure that you buy fresh as much as possible and natural as much as possible. Uh, the second one is avoiding preservatives, canned, dehydrated, and otherwise processed foods. But I think that goes without saying that processed foods and canned foods have a lot of sodium, which can put on weight. Um, and, you know, when you're dining in a restaurant, you don't know what's being used. You really don't. You don't know whether they're canned tomatoes or fresh tomatoes. Um, you just don't know. So if you're preparing food at home, you know what goes into it and you can give it all the love and tender care that you want. The third one is to treat ingredients with care and don't overcook them. There are so many people and even my clients I've seen overcook food. Um, when it comes to vegetables, you don't have to steam them, you can saute them. Saute adds flavor, uh, fat is flavor. If you go somewhere that says I want it fat free or if you buy things that say fat free, but know that if you take out fat, sodium has to be replaced back into it because you need flavor. If not, there's this, there's this bland food. So fat is flavor. Um, but when you're dining at home, you can judge how much fat you want in it. Whether you want to want to just use olive oil or if you want to use um, organic butter. Whenever you're using high temperatures, always use oils that can sustain high temperature cooking. Uh, when you're cooking sauteing vegetables, olive oil is fine, not a problem. And always aim for extra virgin olive oil. And the next tip is to um, use moderation to truly savor um, small portions of food. And this is something that I see so many people who many of my clients and just uh, being in company with high-end recreational culinary school I see people overeat all the time and just because food is placed in front of you does not mean that you have to eat all of it you can use um, I won't even say willpower because I feel willpower is something that you um, are denying yourself but you can have control over how much you eat. You can be the master of your dining experience. So if you think that you're gonna eat all the food placed in front of you, don't order all of it. Don't order that much. And 
I know that's easier said than done because a lot of restaurants, especially in America, they tend to overcrowd your plate so you can barely even see the white. It's just overcrowded plate. It doesn't matter whether you go out four star, five star, you know, three star, the plate is overcrowded. So if that happens, eat only half. Um, when you truly savor your food, you can taste the uh, different flavors. You can, you know, feel the t different textures in your mouth. You allow your body to receive the signals that you're satiated. And that's what it means to, when you um, take your time in moderation uh, when it comes to dining in or out, because you can do the same thing at home. You can overfill your plate. When you do that, you don't allow your body to give you the signals that you're satiated because you're overfilling your plate. And this subconsciously, you're forcing yourself to eat everything. So to, to prevent yourself from doing that, just don't put as much on your plate or have half of it removed. In most places in the United States, um, if you don't want all of your food, you don't have to eat it all, they will take it away and pack it up for you. But instead of allowing it to sit in front of you, if you wish to come to your table and you notice there's a lot of food there, ask for half to be removed at that particular point and you don't have to suffer. Um, so you're staying true to your body and you're really honoring the process of digestion. Because when you overfill your body, you're not allowing your body to uh, receive the signals of digestion in a proper way, and you're overfilling your stomach, which is also putting more weight onto your body. So our fifth tip is to consider red wine. Red wine, to me, is considered a vitamin W. If you don't drink wine, sip on Perrier. Um, but red wine, it enhances the, fl the flavor of food and it's really good for the heart. So when you're consuming red wine, I always tell my clients that what grows together pairs together. So if you're eating in an Italian restaurant or if you're eating food at home that's Italian, drink with Italian wine. If it's French based, drink with French wine. If it's food from the US, drink an American wine something maybe from Oregon or California. So there's so many, if you're drinking something from the Spanish, Latin base, try Chilean wine or um, Argentinian wine. So you're adding more flavor into your food because the flavors, wine, different types of wine enhance the flavor of food. Enjoy cooking in as well as you enjoy dining out. And the reason I find that a lot of um, you know, people don't enjoy dining in is because they don't know how. Which is what I offer my clients in my um, classy coaching is personalized cooking lessons. And I don't have to be in your kitchen to show you how to cook. Um, I've worked with many of my clients virtually and hands-on, um, showing them how to cook hands-on, um, even showing them, you know, certain technique techniques that are used in restaurant dining. And the reason I really want to encourage you to really learn to dine in because when you dine out, you're, um, you can start to consume more foods that are very acidic for your body. For example, animal protein is very acidic for your body. So when you consume a lot of animal protein, what it does is that it causes the calcium to be uh, released from your bones. And so to neutralize that acidity, so it neutralizes the acidity in your, in your blood. So to make a long story short, um, too much acidity in your body will weaken your bones and cause a um, cause brittle bones as you age or your skeletal system to become more brittle as you age. So um, to reduce that, you want to make sure that you're getting the right calcium in your body versus adding in a lot of animal protein, which is very acidic in nature. And like I said, it causes your um, causes calcium to be released from your bones, which which begins to neutralize the acidity in your blood to balance out your body and to make sure that your body stays um, stays level and balanced. And the last thing I want to make mention of is to expand your food horizons with exotic ingredients from around the world. Just because you 
dine out and have exotic ingredients, bring those ingredients home. Uh, if you feel one day that you want to have um, Argentinian food, have it. Uh, whenever I talk to teach my clients about proper menu planning, proper menu planning is not just um, eat this, eat that, excuse me, but proper menu planning includes your taste buds, um, includes the type of dining that you enjoy. If you, if you love Spanish food, maybe try Argent something for Argentinian. What do your taste buds say for the day? Um, whenever you're menu planning, I always advise my clients to do three days. Um, three days per week because the next several days maybe you want to eat out you want to dine out with colleagues or perhaps you want to try something new so always take into consideration um, everything when you're menu planning and if you're dining out as a busy professional um, consider dining in sometimes and if you don't know how to do that don't worry I can make it super easy for you so um, the benefits of dining in versus dining out is weight loss. Um, your digestive issues improve. You boost your energy levels because you know what you're putting in your food. And when you add your own ingredients into your food and you show it love, your body will thank you immensely. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you got a lot out of it. So just for listening to this video, I'm going to include in the link a recipe and this is one of my favorite recipes. It's a um, French cuisine. It's, um, it's a lentil salad. It's a French lentil salad with lardons and spinach. And it's super easy. Um, I've made a step-by-step -step for you uh, in the link. Uh, once you click on the page, so you'll see a step-by-step -step broken down um, how to cook it, um, what ingredients you need. And most of the ingredients, I'm pretty sure you probably already have in your home already. So. Um, so that's going to make it super easy for you. And if you have questions or if you need some assistance in this area, then reach out to me. My link is included in the video in this, um, in the link that I'm going to include for you for the recipe. So get in touch with me. Let me know your needs. Um, I think wellness is something this, we're still in January. This is the early part of the year. And if wellness and being healthier is one of your goals, reach out to me. Let's let's jump on a call together and, and see how I can help you. So I look forward to hearing from you. Until our next time, stay beautiful and healthy.